is an ambitious man. He doesn't care to share his spoil. He wants to be the hero. Hail, Earl Ragnar. Ah, uh, yes. Ragnar Lothbrok. We've heard that name before. Hail, Earl Ragnar! Hail, Earl Ragnar! Hail, Ragnar! Your reputation goes ahead of you, Ragnar Lothbrok. It is my privilege and pleasure to clap eyes on you. His fame eclipses even yours. And his vanity will kill him. Well, clearly I needed a hero for the series. I needed a lead character. The lead character in a television drama doesn't have to be a good person. They often have to have the power of life and death over other people. And so I was looking for an important Viking. Um, I was looking for a Viking who made a difference. And of course, reading the sagas is just brilliant from a writer's point of view. They're extraordinary stories. They give me so much narrative ammunition. This is a real cultural treasure, this manuscript. It's written around 1400. It was given as a gift to the Danish king. What is special about this manuscript, this is the only complete manuscript of Ragnar Saga that we have. I think it arrived in Copenhagen in 1656. It says, Heimir i er They told stories about people who achieved something extraordinary. I mean, they were people like we are, and they would have loved a good story. The saga tells about Ragnar as a young man going on raids and acting in wars, what he has achieved, how many people he has killed, how young he was when he went to war for the first time, and his fearlessness. Ragnar will be at the front of the battle formation and he will have his arms covered in blood till up over the elbows. It's very preoccupied with his wooing, actually. His winning of beautiful women. Why does you do that? Because I have no choice. It's quite explicit in Ragnar Saga that he wants to be famous. What's your name? Ragnar Lothbrok. The one who sailed west. I'm surprised that you've heard about that. How are you surprised? Everyone has heard of your exploits. According to the legendary sagas, and particularly a saga like Ragnar's saga, fame was very important to the Vikings. So what you have achieved during your life is very important. To become famous, it's not celebrity. It's to become famous for doing extraordinary things. It's all about bravery, about doing famous deeds. It's about memory. You should do something that enables your memory to live on after you die. It's about accepting the fate that has already been assigned to you. What are we fated to do? You can't change that fate, but what does matter is how you behave on the way to it. Ragnar Saga says he's afraid that his sons will be more famous than he is. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok will be spoken of as long as men have tongues. Then they will have more fame than I. So he wants to do something which will make him equally famous for an equally long time. It's only the start of his real ambitions. Meaning? Meaning Ragnar Lothbrok wants to be king. The historicity of Ragnar Lothbrok did he exist or not, is also one of the enduring puzzles of Viking scholarship. And I think the burden of proof is on those who want to argue why all of that would simply be invented. A big part of Ragnar's story is the story of his sons, and people like Bjorn Ironside were real. They were absolutely real, we know this. We know of the things they did, Remember, the adventures they had. Your father is Ragnar Lothbrok. For so many 
known real Vikings to have claimed the same person as their literal father. That's not going back very far in time. You know, your father is a person that people would have met. That, to me, argues that he has a basis, in fact. Ha! I'm certainly not saying that the saga stories of Ragnar are literal truth. We can't go to those manuscripts and say, here is the life of Ragnar Lothbrok, but something real is probably behind them. Do I think Ragnar existed? Uh, yes, I think he did, but I don't think that we are able to know much for certain about him.